Hey everyone, Scott here. Uh, if you've been watching my other Tesla solar videos, um, you'll know I've been waiting for the system to go live and guess what? It is now live. Uh, it's nighttime right now, <laughs> so we're not generating any power right now, but you see the house is running off uh, the power walls, which is, uh, which is really cool. So uh, I wanted to show you uh, what my first uh, month was like. So let's take a look at some of the numbers. And uh, you can see we were self-powered 82% uh, of the time. So that's solar and power wall. We only drew 18% from the grid. We generated $62 worth of, e of electricity. That's based on our custom time of use rate uh, here. Um, you can choose uh, a bunch of rate plans that are built in, but you can also edit and put in your own one if, if your utility is not listed there. So in total for the month of February, we used just over 1,100 kilowatts of electricity. We offset 85% of that from solar, so uh, almost 950 kilowatt hours. And I think that's pretty good for an 8.16 kilowatt uh, array, uh, 14 panels face east, 10 face south. I think that's pretty good. But we live in Las Vegas. Um, it's been a great month weather-wise. Um, we've had a few partially cloudy days, but no completely cloudy days. So this is showing the uh, uh, generation for the entire month. And if I put my finger down um, and hold on the, the chart, you see what we produced every day. And it's really interesting because you can see there's a general trend upwards, um, which you would expect, right? Uh, each day is getting slightly longer and the sun is getting slightly higher in the sky. And we peaked um, just a few days ago on the 26th with 41.1 kilowatt hours in a single day. That was the most um, that we would generated. Um, we went live just at the end of January. Uh, our peak then was 32.4 kilowatt hours. So we've jumped almost 30% in a month, which is, which is really great. Now, we are live, but... Um, we have not yet had PTO. So what happened was Tesla came and they connected up the empty meter bay. But as you can see, we're in what's called self-consumption mode uh, only. So we cannot export anything to the grid. So this was yesterday, fairly typical sunny day, 40.4 kilowatt hours in total. But the instantaneous peak was uh, 6.2 kilowatts. Um, and our array is like split sort of southeast, so that's kind of why we, we peak slightly before noon. Um, but the interesting thing is, if it's a cloudier day, um, and let me just scroll back, because there was quite a cloudy day last week. There we go. You can see the very sort of spiky pattern that indicates, you know, the sun coming in and out from buying clouds. But what's interesting is we actually peaked, the instantaneous peak was higher on this cloudy day, 7.3 kilowatts was the top. And if it's just the right amount of clouds, it can actually um, improve production um, because there's just slightly more sun getting directed on the panels from different uh, directions, which is kind of cool and interesting, I think. Um, so today was an interesting day, and this is quite a common pattern because we cannot export to the grid. As soon as the power wall becomes full, which happened, uh, here around one o'clock. We were producing about five kilowatts. But once the power walls became full, um, the solar production had to uh, you know, set itself back um, and limit itself because we cannot export. So you're gonna see that on your graphs until you can actually send back to the grid. So you know, I did show you our numbers for the month um, but actually, these numbers uh, were slightly artificially low um, because of that. Once we have PT, if we had had PTO for the whole month, I don't know exactly what we would have produced, but um, it would certainly have been higher um, than what you what you see here. So, waiting for PTO. Um, hopefully, you won't have to wait too much longer. Um, by the way, you can change the mode on the charts. So you can see here the green, uh, if you look at the bottom, green means power that went into the power walls. That's 56% of what we produced today went into the power walls. 44% was consumed directly by the home. Less than 1% went to the grid. Um, it, it always, for some reason, shows about 0.1 kilowatt hours went to the grid. Not sure why. Um, and you can see uh, as well, you know, the charge level on your power wall during the day. 
um, sort of gets lowest uh, at sort of around 6, 7 a.m. when the, our heating comes on um, and then sort of peaks uh, around lunchtime. And you can see it was discharging in the morning. That's the blue part of the chart. Uh, it was charging uh, sort of in the middle of the day. So that I think is about it. Um, oh, you can export your data, by the way. So you can do that, uh, which is quite useful. Um, that's on um, another page. Um, you can also go into off-grid mode if you want to do that and simulate a power outage. I haven't actually tried that. I really do need to get onto that. We haven't um, had any uh, you know, outages yet. It would tell me uh, how many events or backup events there have been. I did turn off the uh, Stormwatch mode. That's optional. Um, you know, where I am in Las Vegas, power outages are very, very rare. Um, and, you know, it, it prioritizes charging your batteries. Um, and then once they're full, it just draws from the grid. So it was kind of pointless. Um, it was just uh, kind of wasting um, the free electricity from, from the panels. So I turned that off. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm going to keep uh, posting updates, especially when we get PTO uh, in future months. Um, I'll definitely come back later in the year, in the summer, and tell you how things are performing. Um, what I'm really curious to see what this goes up to. Uh, if you are thinking about ordering Tesla Solar, do check out my pros and cons video. That's been extremely popular. Um, and uh, if you do decide to order, please use my referral code. Um, it will uh, get both of us a few hundred bucks. I'll get you a few hundred bucks off your order. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please like and do consider subscribing. Thanks uh, for watching.